All right, hello, is this thing on? Welcome, hi everybody. My name is Ali with Big of Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here this evening, this beautiful Monday, uh, rainy Monday night here in Lockport, Illinois. Thanks for joining us for some general knowledge trivia. We're still here, we're still going. Let me tell you how this works. Before we dive into the actual game, make sure you've joined the actual game by going to online.bigoftricks.com and putting in tonight's game code, which is simply the word tricks, T-R-I, C K S. You can click on the link that was on Facebook. That'll get you there as well. However you get to the website, once you're there, it's going to ask you for a few pieces of information. Now, first and foremost, at the top, it says enter your nickname. What we're looking there for there is the name you want to go by in tonight's competition. Second and third is the city and the state that you're playing from if you're in the United States. If you're not, we're super happy that you're here from Canada. I see you out there, Christiane. But go ahead, put in your city or your state or your province, whatever you want to put in these blanks. I just like to see where people are joining us from. Last but not least, if you do have a Bag of Tricks loyalty program number, go ahead and put that in. Uh, if you don't, you can sign up. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to be a part of that. Once you are done, go ahead and click on Go. You'll see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. And that means you're all set. You're all ready to go. We're going to get the game started here in just a moment all right how do i do this again click on this button all right welcome once again everybody thanks for being here i am joined by taco and pierre and gina everybody's in the room no cats though uh but they're hanging out excited to be here on this monday evening for some general knowledge trivia so it's been a little while i think last week i don't know if i was sick or something it's been a little bit uh but i'm excited to be back i'll just let you all know for the for the foreseeable future, right now, the schedule is we will be here every single Monday night for our typical general knowledge trivia night. Now, we will still be having some themed trivia nights that will be in addition to this general knowledge trivia night on other nights of the week. We do still have the sponsored trivia nights from multiple libraries. Elmhurst Public Library has some sponsored trivia nights coming up, including uh, in you know this Pride Month, we're doing LGBT trivia at the end of June. I believe that's the 28th with the library, with, the library yeah. with Elmhurst Public Library. And next week, next Monday is Pokemon Trivia, sponsored by the Fountaindale Public Library. Uh, so we'll continue to do these on Monday night. Anytime we have a sponsored event at 7, we'll just move this to 9. So make sure that you've clicked on the event on Facebook and you've RSVP'd so you can see the schedule and uh, when these events will be coming up. As I mentioned, we'll also have additional theme nights uh, on other nights of the week. I'll be throwing those in as well. We will be doing some events on Luna Park. There's a brand new iteration of the Luna Park platform. I know some of you don't like it so much because you have to be on camera. It's a little bit different, but some of you really do enjoy it. And I really like it because we can do music trivia, something that we really can't do here on YouTube. So we will be doing some additional events if you're craving more trivia on Luna Park. So keep an eye out for that. Those I will probably just post in the community. I won't be putting those out uh, to Bega Tricks at large in the beginning. So keep an eye out for that as well. In addition, if you are antsy, you're getting out, you're going to breweries, you're going to restaurants, and you want to play some trivia, we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm sure a lot of you have already been to some of the events. I've seen some of you checking in at these events, and I love seeing it on Facebook. So make sure you do check out our events page, or if you want to search by city, by town, it's a lot easier to do on our website. I don't know how many of you know this, but our website actually has a pretty cool calendar. I'll just show you this really quick. Because uh, I can't overstate how much nicer this calendar is than the calendar on Facebook. So if you go to Bega Tricks, it's actually right here, but you can get a full screen version by clicking on the events calendar. Uh, and then, like I was mentioning, you can search on this calendar. You can't really do this well on Facebook. So if you're looking for some friends trivia, you can just type in friends and you can see we're doing friends trivia 
uh, this Sunday, the 13th, uh, in Lombard at Noon Whistle. Uh, on the opposite end, if you want to see uh, if there's anything going on in Lamont, you can type in the city and it will pull up everything going on in Lamont. Uh, you can see this in different views. So again, I'm not trying to sell this calendar to anybody. I'm sure I could be uh, <laughs> describing this for somebody who wants to buy it, but I'm just trying to let you guys know that this is out there uh, for you to use uh, and find some additional trivia nights if you are looking to do some stuff in person. Uh, so please do check us out. We have events every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We are very, very consistent during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And now with Noon Whistle, we have events going on almost every Sunday as well. So do check that out if you're in Lombard or Naperville on Sundays. A lot of people request weekend events. It's not super common. So do check that out. We'll have those coming up for you as well. Uh, with that said, thank you to those of you. I already see this happening right now. Uh, sending tips. Uh, these uh, online events that we're continuing to do will always be free as they always have been for you guys. We're not charging anything for you guys to play trivia. So it means a lot to me when you do send those tips or donations that encourages us to keep doing this. And it allows us to pay for these platforms, as I've said, since the very beginning. So thank you. I saw Jeff. Uh, thank you, Lauren, for the donations tonight. If anybody else did and I didn't see it, I really appreciate it. Those links are down there uh, in the corner. They'll be there all evening. So with that said, Let's talk about this game and how it is played. This is general knowledge trivia tonight. Oh, and I have another announcement. Is that what you're trying to remind yeah, me of? Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me go back on the big screen. We have another announcement. Drum roll, please. We are. Oh, it's oh, okay. poor Taco. He didn't like the drum roll. <laughs> He's awoken from his slumber. Oh, and Pierre. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry we ruined your sleep with our fun. Uh, so, big announcement. We are having a Bag of Tricks online community in-person get-together. I got to come up with a better name than that. A party. A party is a good name. We've been talking about this since our online community just came together over a year ago. Uh, a lot of you have been asking, so we're trying to put pen to paper and get this actually cemented so that people can plan. Because um, I know some of you are looking forward to this and you may be coming from a little bit further than I might be driving to get to this event. So with that said, we are in the planning phases. We have some dates in mind, specifically one date right now. Um, selfish me, it is the weekend of my birthday. So selfish. Right before. So here is a link. I'm dropping it in the chat right now. Now, I don't want to interrupt trivia with this, but it only takes about three minutes, four minutes to do. So you can either fill it out right now if you're very attentive or just save that link for later. I'll post it in the community as well. Uh, this is just an informational forum. This is not committing. You're not paying anything. All I'm looking to do is know how many people would probably be available for the date that we've set which is the 21st of august it's a saturday uh right now depending on how many people say that they plan to be there it's going to sort of steer how we go with this whether it's going to be uh at a venue in a brewery or whether it's going to be maybe at a pavilion outside um a lot of that planning will come off of how many people think that they will be able to make this so we have sent that out the link is in the the chat if you want to fill that out now feel free otherwise that's not going anywhere. It'll be there for a while for you guys to check out. Uh, so I'm very excited. It's finally coming to fruition. Uh, we're excited to see and meet a lot of you in person. Uh, I know it's been weird over the last couple weeks. I've met up with individuals who I feel like I know very well, but I've never, ever met in person until that time. So it's been great, and I'm excited to do that a lot more here in the next couple months. Have I forgotten anything else? No, nope, that's good. We can play. Good now. And we're all excited. We're excited. Yes. All right. So with that said, general knowledge trivia, let me flip back up here. Oh, wow. Big old disturb disturbance. <laughs> Tacos right back to sleep. Uh, tonight's game is general knowledge trivia, my friends. Questions about anything and everything. Some of these questions simple. Some of these questions tough. The format has not changed. Now, as I mentioned, when we move over to Luna Park for some events in the future, it'll be a very different format. We'll have music trivia, different style of play. But for now, when we continue these Monday night events, it's the trivia you've known to uh, you've come to know and hopefully love like I do. So the first round is multiple choice. The second round will be a picture round. And the last round will be those open-ended questions about anything and everything. We're going to dive into the first round right now. These are the multiple choice questions. I'll ask you the question. I'll start your question timer. You'll have 25 seconds to choose either A, 
B, C, or D, one of these answers will be correct. Three of them will be wrong. If you click the correct answer, you earn up to 150 points, but that is based on how quickly you answer. So make sure if you think you know the answer, don't hesitate. Click it, lock it in, and you'll earn more points than somebody who waits until later to answer. You only have 25 seconds total. Once the timer hits zero, you can no longer answer. Once you click an answer, you cannot switch to a different answer. So do make sure that you know what you're clicking first as well. Last but not least, if you don't know the answer at all, you should click something, take a wild random guess, close your eyes, click something because you have a one in four shot and you don't lose any points for being wrong. Uh, with all of that said, this very first question I'm throwing up on the screen is a practice question as it always is. This is just, what is the name of your host today? No points on the line, just answer this for fun or if you're playing for the first time to learn how the system works. What is the name of your host today? Is my name George Elaine? Jerry or Ali, what is the name of your host today? I have some thank yous to get out here. Thank you so much, Jess, for the donation. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Maribeth, for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really, really appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. It's on the calendar. Amy JK, yes, yes, yes. Good evening, Derek. Very cool. We're down. Yes, John, that's what I like to hear. Middleton lands the furthest that will be traveling. I love it. We'll be there. We're going to sneak Christiane across the border. We're going to get you there, Christiane. We'll put you in a car with Bobby Kate. And just drive you down. We'll come pick you up. We'll bring Taco for a road trip. Pierre. <laughs> yeah, Pierre. Oh, Pierre wants some poutine. Oh, DuPage Pads is here. Hey, DuPage Pads. Welcome, my friends. Oh, my gosh. We better start this trivia. Oh, we're good. We're good. Uh, four people said George, three people said Elaine, 15 people said Ali. Great job. 15 people were correct. Uh, all right. Now these questions start counting. Here we go. Question number two. In June of 2021, I know for sure there are a couple people out there that will know this. What cruise line company will be the first to have a major cruise ship set sail from an American port after more than 15 months? Which of these cruise lines is the first to set sail in more than 15 months from a U.S. port? Is it Celebrity, Royal Caribbean International, Norwegian, or Carnival? Christiane, I wish. Oh, no, we're doing it, Christiane. We'll bring, we'll, we'll grab Jackson. We'll have plenty of pickles. We'll play Save by the Bell uh, and the TV in the car the whole way down. And Psych. Yeah, and Psych. It'll be great. I'm just... <clears throat> well, you okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm just picturing, like, having name tags for people to wear and having, like, your real name and then also... Like, oh, your yeah, your username, <laughs> your trivia name. Chris B will have to wear 97 different <laughs> name true. tags. Amy, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everybody's in. Nine people said Royal Caribbean. Seven people said Carnival. Three people said Norwegian. Five people said Celebrity. The correct answer is Celebrity Cruise Line. First one, setting ship, uh, setting sail from American ports. These other ones might have been cruising from other countries, but the first one leaving for a cruise from America will be Celebrity in this month. Question number three. What is the name of the Muppet Show character seen singing in this video? What is the name of this character? Is this the Finnish chef, the Danish chef, the Polish chef, or the Swedish chef? Aww. Can you do an accent? This... I almost just said the name out loud. What are you doing to me? Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> no, I would probably get yelled at if I tried. Just waiting on Disney Cruise Line, hopefully for Christmas. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, everybody's in. Uh, the correct answer here is the Swedish chef. The Swedish chef. <laughs> Great job. Oh, that's a double social. This is Cheers. Cheers. Dangerous double social when you're drinking a martini. Good job, everybody. Question number four. Combi uh, containing the poison tetrodotoxin, the paper-thin slices of what fish combined culinary luxury with a life-threatening gamble. We've talked about this in its more common name, but we're looking for a very specific name. What animal uh, are <laughs> individuals putting their life on the line to eat? Is it frogfish, shiraco, fugu, or lump sucker? 
<laughs> Lump oh. sucker. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Funny story. Today at work, this woman came in and she's just like, "Do you have like, do you have snail mucus serum?" And we're like, "What?" And she's like, "Yeah, snail slime. Like, I bought it here before." And I was like, "I assure you, you did not." But that's a thing people put on their face. I googled it. Snail. You should just get. Snail s- you should just slime get snails for acne. Get snails and let them walk around on your face. I was so nauseated. Let them walk around, and then the after they've done their mix. thing, then you cook them as cargo. Double no, duty. And here we are. One person said frogfish. Two people said shirako. 21 people known as blowfish. Fugu is the correct answer here. Slice me off a piece of that lump sucker. There you go, Amy. <laughs> Do they serve that at Saz's? Is there barbecue lump sucker? <laughs> Question number five. Uh, here's an interesting one. What form of physical education was recently allowed in Alabama schools after being banned for the last 30 years, just recently a ban was lifted so that what could be taught in Alabama schools? Is it soccer, ballroom dance, ballet, or yoga? I want to watch Forrest Gump. I love All right, everybody's in. Justice for Adrian. Yes. Uh, slathered in, Lump sucker slathered in sazes. Hashtag the finest. Two people said soccer. Three people said ballot. Five people said ballroom dance. Fifteen people correctly said, give me Benji or give me death. Yoga <laughs> is the correct answer. Yoga. All right, that's question number five, which means it's time to take a look at the standings. I'm going to throw all of the rankings up on the screen, take a look, see where you're at, and then we will move on to the next set of questions here in just a moment. Currently in first is 14 years and counting. Second is Jeff D. Jen Widener right there in third, tied with JMO. It's over, Bananakin in fifth. D. Ashman in sixth. Stella in seventh. May I see your manager? What's up, Tommy? In eighth. Boom, roasted in ninth. <laughs> Flunked out of art school. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Tenth is lightning thunder. Eat crap. Eleventh, the cookie catastrophe. Nom, nom, nom. Twelfth is the spicy meat, the balls. Thirteenth is Emma. Merton Lerney in fourteenth. Mama Lands in fifteenth. A whole numero uno in sixteenth. The Angelica is already in Winnie. In seventeenth, Mad Dad in eighteenth. The Peddletons in nineteenth. We have Sorella Sand in 20th. Ah, ooh, werewolves. No longer in lockdown in 21st. Hasera in 22nd. T-Pass in 23rd. Uh, looks like a duplicate team name there. Boo in 25th. Miss LaRocca, Butch Van Dyke, and the Pups. Hello, Snowball and Mia. All right, here we go. Question number six. What group of chemical elements, which includes lithium, sodium, and potassium, is so reactive that they can produce explosions when dropped in water. What is the name for this group of chemical elements? Is it the coinage metals, the calcogens, the alkali metals, or the treals? Benji. Fourteen years. Congrats, Chris and Janessa. Fourteen years. It's incredible. Wait, is that the their anniversary? Wow. Oh, happy anniversary. That's so exciting. Yay. Wow, fourteen years. Okay. Well still dating anniversary. That's still a long time. Dating anniversary is still a dating anniversary. Oh, an anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats, congrats. Everybody's in. One person said coinage medals. Three people said the calcogens. It's just fun to say. One person said the trails. 21 people correctly said the alkali metals. Alkali metals. Great job. I was just reminded by my phone that Loki comes out in two days. Yeah. 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 All right. Question number seven. What popular tech company's logo is actually named Larry as a tribute to Larry Bird? Is it Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Snapchat? Hmm. 
inform his name. But. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. So, if you think about it, what do birds do? They like to tweet on Twitter. Larry the bird, Larry Bird, for whatever reason. Uh, Larry Bird, <laughs> great job. Twitter is the correct answer. 82% of you got that right. That's a cheers. That's a social. Oh, man, I said I wasn't going to have two martinis, but this one's... Eat your olives and see how you fit. Ooh, eat my blue cheese olives. Question number eight. Joan of Arc, you might have heard of her, is considered a heroine of France for her role during what conflict? Is it the Hundred Years' War, the French Revolution, the Crimean War, or the Crusades? Crimean? Oh, Crimean? I, thought, I thought you were saying Korean wrong. You thought I was pronouncing Korean Crimean? <laughs> Listen, thanks for checking. Listen. Listen, 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 Linda. Listen, listen, Linda. My favorite movie. Well, we should watch that. L listen, listen, Linda. Everybody's in. Ooh, we are not sure about this one. Three people said the Korean Crimean War. Six people said the French Revolution. Nine people said the Crusades. Ten people said the Hundred Years' War. The correct answer, St. Joan of Arc. The Hundred Years' War, which was not a hundred years. The Hundred Years' War. Correct answer. And what are we going to name this one? Eh, let's call it about 100 years for sure. it. Uh, great job. Ten people got it right. Hang in there, Joan. Oh, God. Question number nine. Which of the following 80s cop TV shows had an instrumental theme song that hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts? Was it TJ Hooker, 21 Jump Street, Hill Street Blues, or Miami Vice? I have this soundtrack on vinyl, and it is bopping. I've never heard that. It is so good. things you learn about the person you live oh, with. Oh, Phil Collins is on it. Ooh, apparently it's worth some money. Shaka Khan, Glenn Frey, Glenn Frey. Phil Collins in the air tonight is on there. Tina Turner, Jan Hammer. Ooh, yeah, the correct answer here. Almost all of you got it. Hill Street Blues is a good guess, but the correct answer is Miami Vice. Uh, this show, I think, was more about the music than about any of the story. Half of the show was just them driving in a car with 80s music playing. I mean, you actually never seen it. <laughs> uh, great job. 21 of you got it right. Question number... Hey, Sarah. Question number 10. Complete this classic proverb. A stitch in time saves yours and mine, a thimble, nine, or a spool of yarn. What a cute little stitchy doo Little stitchy. You know that dog that needs a foster care? <sighs> Which one? <laughs> the one I said to you. Oh, the one from I today. Have a <laughs> yeah, yeah, today. We next time we're online, we're gonna have twelve more foster dogs. Oh, we don't have any foster dogs. We officially adopted Pierre. He's ours. All right, everybody's in. A stitch in time saves nine. Nine. You know, one of those things. It's fun. All right, great job, everybody. That's actually a social. So cheers. Great job. That's a drink. Here are the standings after 10 questions now. 14 years and counting. Still on top of the board. Mad Dad working his way up there with quick answers. Seven correctly answered, but in second place. Great job. Fast fingers there. The spicy meat, the balls in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the next and last set of multiple choice questions here in just a moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, the pastel blazers. Alright, everybody. Hey, Albin, I see you out there. What's up? Alright, alright, alright! Just a couple multiple choice questions left, and then we have a picture round coming up. Question number 11. Uh, some current technology. NFTs, you might have heard of them, are used to buy and sell original, genuine certified digital assets online, often garnering thousands and even millions of dollars. What does NFT stand for in this sense? What does NFT stand for? Is it non-formal transaction, non-fiduciary trade, nano-frequency transfer, or non-fungible token? Do you know the Charlie bit me that was sold, the NFT for that was sold? So the people who originally created the video sold an NFT and said, you have the rights to this video now. And I heard that the people that bought it want to take it down off YouTube. But that's the issue with NFTs is that you can just download it before they take it down. That's not in my wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the age we live in. That's weird. We got Doge just coming and going here. Uh, five people said non-fiduciary trade. I love the word fiduciary. It's fun. Super formal, though. Four people said nano-frequency transfer. 18 people correctly said, sounds like a mushroom, non-fungible token. Non-fungible token. Oh, no, Christiane. You haven't been able to see any standings. We'll see. I'll, I'll leave it up for a little bit longer next time. We'll see if it works for you. Uh, so great job. 18 of you got points there. Question number 12. Which character... From the Legend of Zelda video game series is shown here. What is the name of this video game character? Is this Zelda, Link, Epona, or Ganon? Link, I get. Wow. Eat one of my blueberries. Yeah, that's what I get. Oh, yeah, you have to Really? I haven't played this. Do you game. still have it? Oh, David just started playing this game and he loves it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in. If one more person gets it right, we get a social. Well, we didn't make it. Three people said Zelda. <laughs> Three people said Epona. <laughs> Zelda is a princess uh, who tends to be in trouble. Epona is his horse, trusty steed. 22 people correctly said Link. Link is the correct answer. Great job. Question number 13. What luxury car manufacturer has Matthew McConaughey been an advertising spokesman for since 2014? Is it BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Lincoln, or Audi? Audi? Audi. Um, Any Audi. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. That's weird, Christiane. It's one of the reasons you may enjoy it, Chris. It's one of the reasons that I'm excited to do some more stuff on Crowdpur uh, because we've, I'm sorry, on um, Luna Park because we've had issues like this with, <laughs> chalk it up to Canada. Yeah, we've had issues like this with, with Crowdpur obviously over the last 15, 16 months now. Um, and Crowdpur is a brand new system that they've built where you're actually going to be doing trivia in the same system so not even two different windows not two different tabs everything's going together they just released this i'm actually testing it for them uh so keep an eye out like i said we'll have some fun events coming up holy shit uh excuse me i did not think that this would be a double social the correct answer is lincoln great job everybody that's two drinks i mean if you've watched one super bowl you've probably seen it 35 times remember when or one sports this game, super bowl bruce springsteen did a yep commercial for jeep and then he got arrested for dui like the next day or that night <laughs> i still like him i still like him you know the lincoln lawyer was the ultimate product oh <laughs> nice derek question 14 complete this quote from author victor hugo he who opens a blank closes a prison what completes this quote he who opens a what is it a mouth to speak a mind a school door or a book? Guaranteed Lincoln lawyer was right. Yeah, yeah, Christian, I think you're right. All right, all right. I like it, Middleton Lens. Hey, I wasn't joking. I want to uh, buy some Cookie Catastrophe shirts. And 
I could probably just buy whatever shirt Abby had. We could just make that fit Taco and Pierre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do want Cookie Catastrophe shirt. All right, everybody's in. Ten people said open a mind. Six people said open a book. Take a look. Twelve people said open a school door. The correct answer is he who opens a school door closes a prison. Great job. Question number 15. The ninth installment in one of my favorite series, the Fast and Furious film franchise, will be released on June the 25th. What's the official title of this newest film? What is the actual title of the newest film in the series? Is it The Furious 9, F9, Fast 9, or Fast and Furious 9 Lives? No, I can't. Where's the two? <laughs> <laughs> That's really oh, I love it. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh, stretchy. Oh, I missed the stretch. Sorry, everybody. All right, everybody's in. Wow, I didn't think so many of you would get this. The correct answer is F9. F9, that's an actual key on your keyboard. <laughs> what should we name the new movie? Uh, <laughs> F9. Question 16, the final multiple choice question. Every year, yesterday, June 6, commemorates the landing operations of the Allied invasion of Normandy, France, which helped end World War II. What is the name given to this event? What was the name given to the event? The Allied invasion of Normandy, France. Was it Battle of the Bulge, Attack on Pearl Harbor, D-Day, or the Battle of Midway? <laughs> Sarah, that sounds like me. I just saw a billboard for this today, but still don't know. I understand that. Fast and Furious 9, F it. I like that. <laughs> I, I don't even want to call it a guilty pleasure. I just love that series. I watch it over and over. I haven't... I think I've said this before. Unless it's, like, really dark and disturbing and illegal, it's just a pleasure. Don't be yeah. guilty about yeah, it. Yeah, that's fair. It's just a pleasure. Like, people will watch, like, trash TV. Just enjoy it. Yeah, Here. that's fine. Kardashian all you want. I'll watch Fast and Furious. Two people said Battle of the Bulge. 26 people correctly said D-Day. Day. That is the final multiple choice question, my friends. We're going to switch things up here in just a moment. Currently, Mad Dad has jumped into first place by seven points. Only seven points. Over 14 years and counting in second. The Angelica's Artie and Winnie with that uh, <laughs> superstitious number one, 666, in third place. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. These all sound like porno names. <laughs> Fast and Furious, nine lives. I wish I had been like an actor who found like a series like that where like you just make a career out of it. Yeah. Like, uh, what's his name? Tyson? Have you heard this theory? Ooh. I have not heard that theory. Now, I did hear there was there were things tossed out there. I don't know how far they went, but there were things tossed out there that there might be crossovers between Fast and the Furious and the Jurassic Park <laughs> franchises. <laughs> we do a Jurassic Park marathon. Yep. Yes, we absolutely can. All right, my friends, we're going to move on to the next round. This next round is where things change in a couple of ways. First and foremost, you're no longer going to have multiple choice options you're used to this by now if you played trivia for any amount of time at this point you're gonna to have to type your answer in so once i start the question timer you'll see a text box pop up and you have to type the answer and hit submit before time runs out as long as you do that if you're correct you'll earn all 250 points for this round if you're wrong you're going to earn zero points now i will say in this picture round some of these questions are easy some of these questions are tough but they're all from the same category I had fun doing this one. Uh, today, June 7th, just happens to be Michael Sarah's 33rd birthday. Did you know he's only 33? It's Michael Sarah's 33rd birthday. So I'm going to show you a still frame from a Michael Sarah movie. Almost uh, so I mean, fun. All of these are popular films. Some of them a little bit tougher than other ones. Uh, some of them newer, some of them older. 
Uh, but these are all Michael Sarah as an adult. None of the younger ones. I found out he was in Frequency. I didn't realize that was Michael Sarah as a 10-year-old. Uh, but we'll do one at a time. Some of them easy, some of them tough. Just type in the movie. Happy birthday, Michael Sarah. What film wow. is this a screenshot from? I always thought that he was just like same age as you. old and looks young. But no, he's just actually like young. Like, and he's an old soul. Yeah, but when he was in this film, he was like actually the age that he was playing. Nice. You know, it's not like he was playing a teenager and he was 36. We're using adult loosely. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody's in and almost everybody got this. Oh, a couple of you came up with a character name. Uh, the correct answer is super bad. Super bad. That's a social. Cheers, everybody. Number 18, name this Michael Sarah film. Probably my top three favorite films of all time. What is the name of this film? I could probably watch this every single day. And you almost do. <laughs> she's a girl. She's hair like this. This is the picture round I did. Hey, Learn Fern again. Yes, I'm glad you need it. All right, everybody's in. Uh, I'm not going to show the guesses on this one because due to the type of round this is, you guys are guessing a lot of the other answers, uh, and I'm not trying to give that away. Uh, the correct answer here is Scott Pilgrim. Oh, it showed him anyway. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Uh, Scott Pilgrim, I took just anything with Scott Pilgrim. Question number 19. Name this Michael Sarah film. What film is this? This is what a lot of you were guessing before. I saw this in theaters. I remember this one. I still love this movie. If, we, if we're ever, if, if a timeline ever works out where you're pregnant around Halloween... This could be our costume. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> I used to have a hoodie just like that. All right, everybody's in, and every single person got it right. Great job. Correct answer is Juno. What a fun movie. All right. Whoa, fun fact. They're about to re-release this soundtrack with Brie Larson's version of Black Sheep. I'm into that. Yeah, Lauren, uh, I'm actually, I'm considering one of the best things, in my opinion, uh, let me put this correctly, one good thing that came from movie theaters over the last year having to adapt to the COVID situation is it doesn't seem like they're going to stop offering movie rentals uh, so that you can rent theaters, you know, uh, and I really want to rent a theater to watch Scott Pilgrim oh, be fun. at the movie theaters. Yeah. I'm into it. Um, like Hollywood Boulevard, a couple pictures of margaritas. All right, here we go. Question number 20. This is a tougher one. Name this Michael Sarah film. He is part of the cast. He's not the main actor here. What film is this with Michael Sarah? Can we please? Yeah, Lauren, absolutely. You're already, in, you're invited. Oh, do Page Pads is in. You're invited too. That'd be a fun Vegas Jerks community event. Yeah, too. just to go do a movie. I saw AMC was rerunning it, Emma. Yeah, but I couldn't make it to that. But a bunch of people checked in, and somebody I know rented out a theater in Nashville and watched Scott Pilgrim, which is just... <laughs> somebody guessed... Hold on. Somebody guessed, look at my sweet ass. Good guess. Uh, this was... Uh, this is a fun piece of trivia, pop culture trivia. Uh, according to Blockbuster Statistics, the final VHS that was ever... Uh, released for rental by Blockbuster, appropriately, was titled This is the End. It's the oh, last VHF. Tear. Yeah. Or maybe it was the last DVD. It was the last thing they ever this rented. Is a funny yeah. one. Uh, question 21. This is the toughest one of the round. This is the newest film in the round as well. Name this Michael Sarah film. He's, he's a player in this film. He's not the main star. It's on Netflix. Was it Lauren's What'd she say? What'd she say? Scott Pilgrim, I just learned murder. Is it what? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm definitely renting a theater now. Oh, Amy JK, good guess there. All right, all right, all right. 
a lot of people kept guessing Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, which is great. That's one of his more popular films. Uh, this one is actually a Jessica Chastain, right? Oh, yeah. I never saw this one. Yeah, this is Molly's I Game. And Idris Elba, I think, is in it as a lawyer. It's, a, it's an Aaron Sorkin film. Uh, it's really good. I liked it. I watched it. It's on Netflix um, if you want to watch. Uh, Michael Sarah's in there. And uh, six of you knew that. So good job. Poker in the rear. Great guess, too. All right, here are the standings. After that round, 14 years and counting back up into first, Emma in second, Lightning Thunder, eat crap, in third. Angelica's already in winning right there in fourth. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. We'll get the next round started here in just about uh, 90 seconds. Long enough time for me to get another drink. All right, we're going to get into the next round. This is the final round of trivia. Uh, these questions. Oh, yeah, Jess, I can do that. Uh, hang on one second. Uh, 92. So that's like, uh, let me take this off. All right, gotcha, Jess. I combined those. Uh, okay. Okay. We have one round left. These are general knowledge questions, but unlike the first round of general knowledge questions, these are not multiple choice. These questions, you're gonna have to type the answer in for. So just like the previous round, the picture round, where I start the timer, you'll see a text box pop up. Thank you very much. Uh, you're gonna type the answer in and hit submit. But these questions are random. Some could be simple, some could be tough, but they're worth 300 points apiece. So let's see how this goes. Here we go. Question number 22. Which American playwright is best known for his musicals in The Heights and Hamilton? You may know this one. The Angelicas of Hardy and Winnie. The Angelicas of Hardy and Winnie. Oh, Taco is nesting. Oh, wrong camera. Damn, I'm missing everything tonight. I need to get a really long USB cord and bring this camera out to the baby birds. We have a nest right outside our front window uh, where we've watched some birds grow from eggs to right now. They can't, from eggs. they can't fly yet, but they're flapping their wings. We both just did that. <laughs> Everybody's in. We'll see if anybody. Oh, I know Amy JK's answer here. Bella's favorite, of course. Yes, yes, yes. That's close. That's close. That's close. The only one that's not Andrew Lloyd Webber. The correct answer is Lynn Manuel Miranda. In the Heights comes out very soon. Uh, HBO Max release date. June 10th. June 11th. June 11th. Four days. From, so Friday. In the Heights. Great job. 95% of you. Cheers, everybody. Question 23. Which sport are you watching if the announcers are talking about tucks and pikes? Which sport involves tucks and pikes? Uh-uh. Damn it. Good guess. Taco tees. We live for In the Heights. Yeah. Um, 
Chris, I've never seen In the Heights, but I have listened to the soundtrack. I've listened to the soundtrack. I haven't seen the play. We will be having a viewing party, possibly outdoors. Here. I love that, Amy. That's a great idea. What'd you say? That's fun. Yeah, it sounds very fun. Uh, everybody is in... Oh, you know what? Wait, what was your guess? What were you trying to guess? Oh, no. <laughs> but there are two answers. I, am I terrible at charade? No, I, no. <laughs> I, I thought you were doing rowing. Um, there are two answers. So give me one second. I only had one in mind, but there are two correct answers. Uh, this could be either I accepted diving or gymnastics. Both of those sports would have tucks and pikes. Uh, diving or gymnastics. You won't see gymnastics on the screen here because I just uh, grouped it in with diving here. But great job, uh, those of you who knew that. Tucks and pikes. Uh, this is a me writing a question and not doing enough research. So great job, everybody. Diving or gymnastics. Uh, anything related, you got it. Question number 24. On the TV sitcom Happy Days, the C stands for what last name when Fonzie uses it to refer to Richie's mother, A, Mrs. C. What does C stand for? Do you get extra points for full answers, Amy? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. Sorry. The triple Lindy. I like the Taylor Swift pennant in the background. Oh, is this from her video? Does she have a video with Happy Days, right? Weezer does. <laughs> from like 1990. Buddy Holly. No, but I don't know about Taylor Swift. Maybe she did one too. Maybe she was copying. No, I was just making a little joke. Oh, I thought that maybe Taylor Swift actually did a video like Weezer where she was in Happy Days. Let's just be silly. And then she replaced the banner with Swift. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer, not Siriccioni, not Curtis correct answer is Mrs. Cunningham. Cunningham. Come to Milwaukee. Get your photo with the bronze fawns. We do need to go to Milwaukee anyway and get some well, sazes, as said, I've already mentioned. We've been talking about making. Yeah. Question 25. The island of Hispaniola is shared between Haiti and which other country? What two countries make up the island of Hispaniola? <laughs> Haiti and what other country? Did you really propose at the bronze fonts, Chris? Yes. I love how it all comes together. All right. Everybody's in. Correct answer is the Dominican... Republic, and that's 80%, which means another social. Cheers, everybody. All right, question 26. Borborgimos is the medical term for what bodily function or condition? What common medical, what common bodily function or condition is officially known as Borborgimos? Borborgmas. Give it your best guess. Borborgmas. All right, everybody's in. I'm going to take. Anything close here? Uh, let me look. Specifically, this is not flatulence. This is not burping. This is not farting. This is the act of your stomach rumbling or gurgling mm. when you're hungry and it makes that noise and you feel it rumble. That is Great job, four of you got that. 
Question number 27. Yokozuna and Ozeki are two of the top ranks in what sport? Yokozuna and Ozeki. Two of the top ranks in what sport? Oh. Brandon proposed in the Burger King parking lot. I love that. Was the ring like on a bun? Was it an onion ring is my Hi question. Hey, oh. No, I actually really like that. Oh, this gift, this dog. Mm. The Richie Tenenbaum of dogs. Oh. Everybody's in. It's not judo. It's not karate. It is sumo. Sumo wrestling. Great job. Question 28. By what name is calcium carbonate more commonly known? What would you more commonly know calcium carbonate as? Everybody's in. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take some of this. Take that. Yeah, we're looking for chalk. Looking for chalk. But if you put any uh, uh, official names, I gave you that as well, too. It's not baking soda, though. It's not milk. All right, question 29. In the soundtrack to the movie Grease, who sang the title song? Greece. Crystal proposed over a puzzle on your birthday. I love that. Yeah, that is really cute. All right, let me check these answers. Lots of ways you spelled this. Correct answer here is Frankie Valley. Spell it the Italian way, just with an I at the end. Frankie Valley. Oh, Jersey Boys. Question number 30. What was the first Bond film to win an Oscar for Best Original Song? What Bond, James Bond film, was the first one whose film won an Oscar for Best Original Song? For the title song. Oh, I feel like I knew this, but... I feel like I asked it, like, two months ago. Sometimes I do that. See if you remember. All right, all right, all right. It's not Goldfinger. Great song, though. The correct answer is Skyfall. Adele. Mm -hmm. Skyfall. That's crazy that it was the first one. I know, after so long. All right, question 31. Final question, my friends. Rock <laughs> singer William Bailey is better known by what stage name? William Bailey, better known by what stage name? Take a look. Everybody's in. The correct answer here is Axl Rose. William Bailey. What's up? I just 
just read that the U.S. Canada border might reopen on June twenty second. Hey, Canada's opening up. You guys can come down. Axel Rose, the correct answer. This is the final question, my friends. So. All we have left to do is look at the final standings. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for being here. Just a reminder, we'll be back next Monday. But next Monday at 7 will be Pokemon trivia. And then at 9 o'clock, we'll do general knowledge trivia. Following week, we'll be here at 7. The week after that, will be LGBT trivia at 7 and general knowledge trivia at 9. Uh, we also have some other theme trivia coming up throughout the month. So check that out on Facebook. And please do. Come and hang out at some breweries or some restaurants if you want to do that. Make sure you fill out the form uh, if you haven't yet to let us know if you're planning to come to the event it's on August 21st. Community. Oh, Gina posted it in the community, so that's great. Well, you already saw it, yeah. So here we go. Final standings this evening. Drum roll. In first, second, and third. First place is 14 years and counting. Congratulations. In second is Emma. And third is Mad Dad. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Take a look, see where you're at. And please do join us again next week for more trivia. Keep an eye out for some fun Luna Park trivia nights. As I mentioned, uh, we'll be testing out some fun stuff, especially some music trivia, if that's your thing. So until then... Be safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you for more trivia here soon.